Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be talking about mirrors, we're gonna be talking about identity, talking about what mirrors have to do with identity, and we're gonna be hearing from God's word about who we are and what God thinks of us. So let's get started. The world and distractions are constantly getting louder around us. What if the gospel rose above all of that? Join us as we challenge ourselves to know God more and to make the gospel louder in our own lives and in the community around us. May the gospel get louder. So if I ever need to see what I look like or check my face in case I spilled some food on it after I was eating breakfast, that happens sometimes often. There's usually one thing that will help me out with that. It's called a mirror. That's what it's there for. It helps me out. I can see what's on my face. I can see what I look like if I need to see what I look like. It's helpful. Now I'm sure most of you somewhere in your house have a mirror that you check somewhat regularly. Hopefully you check it before you leave in the morning to make sure your hair is not all over the place or you have food on your face. Because it's important to be able to check yourself. Sometimes it's kind of hard to be able to see what's on your face. And so we need some help with that. We need to be able to look at something to tell us what we look like and help us out with that. We've been planning on doing this series for a while and talking about our identity and what the Bible says about who we are and who God has made us to be. But I think especially in light of what's going on in the world, it's really important for us to take a look inward at ourselves and take a look at what the Bible says about humanity in general. So that's what we're going to do. So you may be asking, Stephen, how do we do this? Where do I go to find out what the Bible says about me, about humanity, about what's going on in our world right now, and what God thinks about it? Well, I'm glad you asked, because this is actually something that we've talked about before in middle school group. Right before we weren't able to meet anymore, we worked through Psalm chapter 139. We worked through it verse by verse and talked about what God is telling us through it and how we can apply that to our lives. Now this whole chapter is kind of this big circle. It starts out with a phrase, talks about some stuff in the middle, and it ends with that same phrase in a different kind of way. The first thing it says in verse 1 is, O Lord, you have searched me and you know me. And I'm not going to read the whole passage, but I picked out a few verses that I want to share with you guys. In verse 2, you know when I sit and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. Verses 13 through 16, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together into the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. And then verses 23 through 24, it comes right back to that same thing as in verse 1. Search me, O God, and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. There's a couple things I want to point out for us here. So this whole chapter is about God knowing us, caring for us, loving us, and thinking of us. He knew us before we were even born. He knows everything about us. He knows everything that we've ever said before we even said it. He knows us better than we know ourselves. Now it's something really special because he saw us before we were even born. He saw us in the time of our worst sin, and yet he still came to die for us. He died for our sin because even in those moments, even knowing everything about us, he still wanted us in his family. And he died for us in order for that to happen because he loves us and he wants that relationship with us. So if God knows everything about us, he knows us better than anybody knows us, better than we know ourselves. If we're wanting to find out and understand our identity, understand our purpose and our value, we should go to God for that. And we should hear what God has to say about us personally and about humanity in general from his word. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this next section. We're going to be talking about what God says through his word about our identity, our purpose, our value, our worth, and our responsibilities, all of those things, and talk about what the Bible says about humanity in general and what we can learn about humanity, about the world that we live in, and the people that we're surrounded with from God's word and be able to view them in the way that God sees them. So just like we would look at a mirror to be able to see ourselves, we're going to look at God's word and see what it says about us and about humanity. So as you recognize that God has searched us and he knows us, just like it says in verse 1, it's also our heart posture and our responsibility to approach God in humility, asking him to search us and test our thoughts and intentions. So we recognize that God has searched us. He does know us. But as we seek to grow, as we seek to know ourselves more and view ourselves and the world around us the way that God sees it, we approach God and ask him to search us and know us 
and lead us in the way everlasting. So guys, the world is getting louder and louder every day, especially what's happening in our community and in our society right now. There is so much pain and hurt and anger even, frustration, all these different things that are getting louder and louder. There's truths being told, there's lies being told, and it gets louder and louder. So as we think about how we can make the gospel louder in the midst of this, as we think about how we can make a positive impact in the lives of the people around us with the love that God has given to us, let's make the gospel louder in our own hearts first by approaching God with humility and asking him to search us and know us and teach us what he knows about who we are, who he has made us to be. As humans, he has made us in his image. He views us as his children. He views every human as being worth dying for because he did. And then let's make the gospel louder in the community around us by understanding God's love, thoughts, care, value for all the people around us. Let's treat the people around us in the way that God desires and let's view them and relate to them in the way that God does with love, care, value, worth, all of those things with respect and dignity as their people loved by God and made in the image of God. We're going to talk about this more tonight at 6 p.m. in our Zoom Hangout Bible Study. Check out the devotional that goes along with this. We're going to talk about this more and what it means to us personally. So I want to hear you guys' thoughts on it. Okay, we'll see you guys then.